going to be covering Illustrator's Mesh Tool and Illustrator's 3D Objects Shading. Select a stroke color and use the pen tool to trace the left side of our 3D object. I am retracing the 3D object because if I just expand it and unite it, it will end up with too many points on the pad. If necessary, use the direct selection tool to modify your path. A sharp shading, I create the axis very close. I'm using the direct selection tool to select the points. You can use lasso tool if you like. To color the points, select the color from the color panel or use the eyedropper tool to select colors from an image. I'm selecting and coloring the points in vertical streaks. tool and drag it. To delete a mesh point, use the mesh tool, hold alt and click the point.
When working with an asymmetrical object, you might not get the result you want. Sometimes it's better to create a few small, simple mesh objects instead of creating a single complex mesh object. So I'm going to create a small object to cover the bottle finish and color it. To blend the colors, I'm reducing the opacity of some points. As I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to go back to the 3D objects that form the cap. I'm going to change the color of these 3D objects. Let's start with the 3D star object that's part of the cap. Go to the appearance panel, click the color box next to fill, and choose a color from the color panel. After you change the color, if you want to change the 3D object shading, go to Appearance Panel, double click 3D Revolve to open the 3D Revolve window. Select a surface type, I'm using Diffuse Shading. Go to the Light Sphere and you can see that lights are represented with dots. You can move a light by selecting it and dragging it. You can add a new light or delete a light by clicking on the icon. You can also add a light to the back of the sphere by clicking Move Selected Light to Back of Object. Select a light point to change its parameters. If you like, you can personalize the shading color. bubbles, create a circle with the ellipse tool. Use mesh tool to start creating a grid. I'm going to color the top part of the perimeter white and the bottom part black. I'm going to select the points in the center and reduce the opacity to zero to make them transparent. If you like, color some points to add some reflection. Finished, duplicate.
replicate the same bubble as many times as you want. We are finished in this video. Thank you for watching.